Howdy. I'm Bob Terry. And I'm Johnny Terry. And welcome to another free episode of the Roy Rogers television show starring Roy Rogers. Roy Rogers had a list of Rider Club rules. And number seven was... Be kind to animals and take care of them. And everybody knows that Roy Rogers took care of Trigger and Bullet and he was very kind to them. Thank you all for joining us here. We hope you'll stop by ToyGunTown.com after you watch the video here. And we also hope that you'll subscribe to our channel here, Wild West Toys 1, here on YouTube. But before you do any of that, here comes Roy. The Roy Rogers Show, starring Roy Rogers, King of the Cowboys, Trigger, his Golden Palomino, and Dale Evans, Queen of the West. With Pat Brady, his comical sidekick, and Roy's wonder dog, Bullet. Well, Riders, Trigger here is raring to go, so let's get started with today's story. got to ship that stock right away. Now we need the money. Why do we need money? We've got a nice balance in our ledgers. Oh, that could be wiped out overnight. Now listen to me, Bill. You're hiding something from me. Now what's the truth of the matter? Have you been doctoring those books again? Are you accusing me of stealing? Oh, well, not exactly, but it wouldn't be the first time you pulled a fast one. Well, I'll pull a fast one, all right. Of all the cold-blooded murder. That's right. And it's too bad you were around to see it. Give me that gun. That's so fast, Sonny. What happened to Zach? Get the deputy. Tom just shot him. Why, you dirty lion little... Shut up! Or you'll get the same as Zach got. Get them off? Yeah, they were over near the pasture. Good. When the sheriff say he'd be back? He didn't say. He went up to Paradise Valley. Hey, that's the deputy sheriff and Bill Eaton chasing Tom Larrabee. Yeah, and it looks like Tom's got himself into some trouble. Well, they'll never catch Tom. He knows this country like he knows his own saddle. Well, what are you grinning about? Tom's a fugitive or Jake wouldn't be after him. Yeah, I never did like Bill Eaton and that hair trigger pimper of his. What are you grinning about? I never did like him either. <laughs> what do you say we go see what it's all about? That's a deal. Mm -hmm. could have got to. Well, he can't be far. Let's keep looking. Saw something? Yeah, a murderer. A murderer? That's right, Miss Evans. Tom Larrabee. Oh, I don't believe it. He just murdered Zachary. You sure? Tom never seemed like the killer type to me. You see this? You recognize the initials carved on it? Yeah. Well, it could be Tom. Well, that's the gun that did it. We're taking it into town for evidence. I can't understand him going berserk like this. What happened? Well, Zach balled Tom out for neglecting his fence riding. All of a sudden, Tom loses his temper, pulls his gun, and shoots Zach right through the heart. Well, then I grabbed his gun and held him until Jake got here. Well, let's get back to Mineral City and form a posse. Tom can't get far handcuffed. That's a good idea. Bullet, go 
won't find him. Okay, Tom, you can come out now. You and Bullet think you're pretty smart, don't you? No, but we kind of outsmarted Bill and Jake. What happened? Bill Eaton killed Zachary with my gun. Now he's trying to pin it on me. He's got your gun, and he can make it pretty rough on you. I know. It's my word against his. Couldn't have happened at a worse time. What do you mean? My girl, Ellen, she's getting into town today. We're going to get married. Don't worry, Tom. If she loves you, she won't believe you're a killer. But that uncle of hers, he'll make her think different. He keeps telling her I'm no good. Help me get these off, Roy, and spare myself. I'll help you, Tom, but you'll have to do as I say. What's that? You'll have to give yourself up. Give myself up? It's the only way, Tom. While you're in jail waiting trial, it'll give me a chance to do some scouting around. Roy's right, Tom. If you run away, you'll only get yourself in deep. What about Ellen? I'll talk to her. Well, okay. But I still don't like it. That Bill Eaton's pretty smart. He'll get me hung yet. Not if you're innocent. Come on, let's go back to town. Come on, Bullet. Don't worry about Ellen, Tom. I'll take care of her. Thanks, Dad. I tell you, Sheriff, it was a plain case of cold-blooded murder. Wait a minute, Bill. Well, Roy, where'd you find him? Tom decided to give himself up, Sheriff. It's a good thing. You know, we was just organizing a posse. Looks bad for you, Tom, running away like that. That's what Dale said. That's why I gave myself up to Roy here. Listen, Sheriff, I didn't kill Zach. Bill Eaton here killed him, and now he's trying to frame me. You sniveling liar. There ain't a crook inside a prison doesn't claim he was framed. Wait a minute. Pipe down, both of you. Tom, I'm holding you for the murder of John Zachary till court convenes next week. Jake, put him in a cell. I've got one just his size. Good title tramp wouldn't be here to meet us. I don't understand what you see in that cowboy. He's the man I'm going to marry. I haven't given my consent, my dear. And I never will. I'm over 21. If I didn't have business here in Mineral City, I never have brought you here. Then I'd have come myself. You're Ellen Kelsey, aren't you? That's right. I'm Dale Evans. Tom Larrabee asked me to meet you. Well, nothing's happened to him. No. I tell you, let's have a cup of coffee, shall we? I'd like to talk with you. Well, is he sick or...? Oh, he's in fine health. Pat, will you take your stuff back to the restaurant? I'll meet you on the Hey. You with the high heels and the low forehead. Take my bag, too. What's the matter with you, mister? Your arm broke? The young lady's with me. Miss Kelsey's my niece. Well, I'll bet she's about as happy with that as a woodpecker is with a sore bill. Well, that's the story, miss. Tom says he was framed and Bill says he wasn't. I guess it'll be up to the court to decide. Framed? <laughs> Why, there isn't a crook in prison that doesn't claim he's framed. It sounds kind of familiar, Mr. Kelsey. Bill Eaton said the same thing. You don't happen to know him, do you? As a matter of fact, I do. I came out here to talk business with him. Dale, will they let me see Tom? Of course they will, honey. I'll never believe that Tom is guilty. He's always been kind and honest. I told you Tom was no good. I just got to see him. Well, I want no part of him. I'll wait for you here. Well, it's about time you got here. Getting that money wasn't easy. Well, what's the dope? It's all settled. I take over the ranch, only... Uh... Only what? Only I get a bigger end of the profit. Why? Because I'm fixing things so there won't be any trouble. What do you mean? I understand Zach is dead. Yeah, he's murdered by one of our hands. That makes it easier for you to sell, doesn't it? 
What are you driving at? Take it easy, Bill. Take it easy. I'm only stating facts. Survivor in a partnership like this gets the whole business. That means a double profit for you. So I want a bigger cut. Okay, but first I want to see the color of the money. That'll come. But I want to see the legal papers and the deed. Then we'll settle the price. They're at the ranch. You'll have to come out there. Okay. You do believe me, don't you? Of course I believe you, Tom. Now if we can just convince them. I think Roy Rogers is on your side. I know he is. He'll get me out of this. He promised to help. I hope he can. Roy will do it all right. Before you know it, Bill Eaton will be in jail instead of me. Whoa! Take it easy. What's the hurry? You know what I just heard over at the bank? What? Bill Eaton selling his ranch to that gal's uncle. Well, that's interesting. Yeah. Seems kind of funny he'd sell out right after his partner gets killed. Well, maybe Bill didn't want to run the ranch alone. Maybe he just wants to grab a chunk of money and clear out. Come to think of it, Zack didn't have any heirs. that would leave the ranch free and clear to Eaton. Mighty convenient, ain't it? What do you say we ride out and have a talk with Mr. Eaton? Right. They didn't know I was listening. But I heard Tom say Roy Rogers was going to get after you and put you behind bars. That Rogers. Always sticking his nose in other people's business. You get back to town, Jake. I'll handle Rogers. Why are you so worried about Rogers, Bill? You didn't kill Zach yourself, did you? Suppose I did. Nobody can prove it. He was shot with Tom's gun, and that's what'll stand up in court. Will it? Suppose Rogers comes snooping around. Suppose he does. He can't find anything. Now, wait a minute. Don't be so darn stubborn. We've got a lot of cash at stake, and we can't take chances. Uh, I reckon we can't. We better get back into town and take care of Rogers. That suits me. Because if Rogers gets Tom free, he's going to marry my niece. I don't want that to happen. Why not? Is it her money you're using to buy me out? Maybe. And it looks like we're in this together. I don't carry a gun, but I see you're well healed. I'll get my rifle. I just saw Rogers and Brady heading this way. You get back to town. We'll handle Rogers. Did you get a look at them lizard herders? No, but the time I got up there, they were gone. We might as well keep going to the easy ranch. Well, howdy, Roy. Hi, Bill. Hello there, Pat. 
Now, you two fellas know Martin Kelsey, don't you? Sure, we've met. Anything wrong? Yes, plenty. Somebody tried to ambush us on our way out here. Ambushed? Say, that's too bad, fellas. Did you see who did it? No. You didn't happen to see any strangers around your ranch here, did you? No. Mighty funny how they disappeared so quick. You fellas don't think we had anything to do with that ambush, do you? Take a look at that. Well, this hasn't been shot. And Bill, you don't carry a gun. That's right. One of those bushwhackers was carrying a rifle. You got a rifle? Well, it's only a hunting rifle, and I haven't used it since last fall. Well, maybe you fellas would like to examine that, too. That might not be a bad idea. Look, I don't like you two busting in here this way and acting like we done the bushwhacking. I'll take it easy, Bill. Well, I don't know what you two want here, but I'm sure it ain't a friendly visit, so why don't you get going? Now, listen to me, Bill. Tom was a friend of mine. Oh, and... well, if you're a friend of that sneaking, murdering saddle tramp, you're no friend of mine, so get out of here. You didn't have those guns on. Get out of here, both of you. Better be under the same rock with a rattler. Get out of here. We'll come back when everybody's a little more level-headed. How about my gun? He'd have been more my age. I'd have taken him apart like a dollar or what. Shouldn't have lost your temper like that, Bill. You gave yourself away when you snatched that gun out of my holster. So what? Isn't that the way Zach was killed? I'll tell you one thing, Martin. Them two fellas just signed their own death warrant. <laughs> you seem to be doing some pretty heavy thinking, Roy. I am, Bill. I'm thinking that Bill Eaton gave himself away when he snatched Martin's gun. Maybe Zach was killed that way. Yeah, but thinking and proving are two different things. Well, I think we ought to have a look at that hunting rifle of Bill's. Yeah, and maybe we can find a six shooter that's been fired recently. Let's go out and have a look at that ranch. Okay. And if Bill Eaton gets in my way, I'll hit him so hard he'll drive ten folks in our dog houses. No, you don't. You're standing here and looking after that jaw. Bullet, watch after Pat. Wait a minute, Roy. Here comes Martin. I wonder what he wants. Howdy. Howdy. My niece inside? I guess so. Fine. Bill's alone with his ranch. We couldn't have picked a better time. Let's go. Why won't you move out to the ranch? Because I want to stay here. I suppose it's because you can visit Tom in jail. Yes, for one thing. For another thing, I like it here. Now, listen, Ellen. There's no reason for our being angry with each other. I'm the only kin you've got. Then please try and understand, Uncle Martin. Oh, how's your job? Oh, it don't bother me enough to keep it from wagging at the right time. Is he asleep? Yeah. Come on outside. I want to talk to you. Jake, you got to frame it so Tom escapes. Things are getting too hot for us. How's Tom's escaping going to help matters? He won't escape far without a bullet in his back. Oh, no. I ain't killing nobody. You just get him out of jail. Bill and I'll do the rest. Tell him a necktie party's coming after him. You're giving him a break. Okay, but what about the sheriff? Have Tom tie you up, but be sure that it looks good.
This one's been fired. It hasn't been reloaded yet. Hey, this door's locked. Maybe the rifle's in here. Let's search the desk for a key. Here's one. Try it. I thought I heard something. What are you two doing here? Stay away from that door. I'll have the law on both of you for breaking an entrance. Put that rifle back. This rifle's been fired, too. While you're calling the law, you might tell them what you use these guns for. That's not my gun. That belongs to Martin. How about the rifle? Well, that's mine, but I used it on a jackrabbit this afternoon. I thought you said you hadn't been hunting since last fall. You never carry a gun, yet here's a six-shooter and a rifle that's both been fired recently. Well, what are you going to do about it? We're taking these along to the sheriff. Come on, Dale. Well, go ahead. I'll tell him how you broke into my house. Tom Larrabee, who do you think? I was going to give him his supper and he knocked me out with that stool. Well, he didn't take your gun. Yeah, yeah, ain't it? Well, I'd better hurry up and tell the sheriff so he can form a posse. You just better take it easy. You've been knocked out. Dale, will you run over to the sheriff's house and bring him back here pronto? I sure will. I think you're going, Bill. I'm getting out of here. Rogers found those guns. He's taken them to the sheriff. Take it easy, Bill. I've got things fixed. The sheriff's going to be plenty busy tonight. I had Jake let Tom out. What? Why did you do that? Well, I'm figuring he'll come here for a showdown. Then we'll take care of him for good. Yeah, that's right. There's no law against shooting an escaping prisoner. And while we're waiting, you can pay me up my money. OK with me. I can't understand how he hit you with that stool. What did you do? Walk into the cell with your eyes closed? He didn't hit him, Sheriff. There's no mark on him. Besides, why didn't Tom take his gun? Well, he took my horse. Ah, uh, George, you're right, Roy. There's something fishy about this. I think you're in cahoots with Eaton, and you let Tom go. Why would I do a fool thing like that? Because you knew he'd go straight to the EZ ranch. Bill and Martin are probably there waiting for him right now. No! no. All right. Now you can stay right here until we get this thing straightened out. Let's get out to the easy ranch. We haven't any time to lose. And when things blow over, you'll get the rest of your money. Nothing doing. I want all my money now. I thought you were more interested in saving your skin. If you think you're going to blackmail me, you better not try it. You're not in a position to tell me what to do. Oh, no? Hold it, Bill. It's okay with me, only keep that wildcat off me. I thought you didn't carry a gun, Bill. Well, that, that gun's not mine. It, it belongs to Martin. Tom rushed in here and grabbed Martin's gun and killed him. And I took the gun away from Tom in self-defense. That's a lie. Bill pulled the same trick on Martin that he did on Zach. I saw it all from the window here. You're in no position to testify about anything, Tom. You broke jail, and I'm taking you back, Dad. We'll get the truth of this matter. Now's the time, Pat. Get Bill sore. Hurry up. Huh? Get him sore enough, and we'll settle this thing right here and now. I know what you mean, but why do I always have to be the guinea pig? Listen, that story you told is as phony as a jackass carrying a power puff. Shut up! This is none of your concern. You killed Martin. Not only that, you killed Zack in cold blood. You know, jail ain't good enough for you. You ought to be tarred and feathered and rid out of town on a rail and then left there hanging at the highest pine tree in the country to poison the buzzards. 
There you are, Sheriff. That way he does it. Yes, he doesn't carry a gun himself, but he's mighty spry about grabbing one out of someone else's holster. So that's the gag, huh? Well, you hung yourself that time. Tom, I got a better place for these cuffs. Did you have to wait so long to shoot? Well, I had to give him a chance to grab your gun. Well, sure. Otherwise, the experiment wouldn't have worked. Well, the next time you're experimenting, why don't you do it with something safe, like dynamite? <laughs> <laughs> Roy and Dale, I'd like to thank you for believing in me. Well, it isn't hard to believe in someone that's always done right. That's right, Tom. A person's got to have faith in someone he knows to be good. Thanks, Roy. show. We appreciate you. If you enjoyed the Roy Rogers show, starring Roy Rogers and Dale Evans, subscribe to our channel because we aim to bring you lots of fantastic free westerns. Happy trails and may the good Lord take a liking to you. <laughs>